right, so today is uh, it's a little gear haul day. I got some new gear and I'm gonna unbox it for you real quick, show you what I got, and in the next month or two, I'm gonna be doing some reviews and some demos, and then I'll be doing more. Let me tell you what's going on. I have entered into a partnership with Zounds. If you don't know who Zounds is, they are an online music distributor, uh, Z-Z-O-U-N-D-S. This partnership consists of, they send me gear, I review it, I demo it, I send it back. They don't pay me to review the gear. I send them some traffic with affiliate links and if you buy something through the affiliate link, I get a little percentage. They get some traffic, there's no contractual obligation. And, uh, and it's gonna work out good for the channel, I believe. Because I'm gonna be able to get to review and demo gear that I otherwise probably couldn't afford to get. And more of it, which is really cool. Now, when I say they send me gear, it's not free gear to me. Like I said, I gotta send it back. And which is gonna be hard sometimes, especially if I find something I really like, and I'm sure I will, and I might be opening a couple things right now that I really like. So this is, you can, as far as you can see, if you can tell from there in the video, this is the Katana Air EX. And this is priced kinda high at one, uh, one, yeah, we wish, $5.99. So that's that's kind of a that's kind of a big price tag for something you know that I don't know if I'd like. So that's what's great about this opportunity is I can review it and if I don't like it I can send it back. So thing about the Katana Air EX is when it came out about 4 or 5 months ago all these YouTube channels and they introduced it they did a quick demo and you didn't hear a whole lot more about it after that. There's a couple other uh, channels similar to mine and similar to our Facebook group that uh, work with it. But I want to do more than that. I want to build some tones on it. I want to give people more of an experience of how this thing works out in real time. So, I got almost everything out of the box here. I know I'm talking a lot. Wow, this is about the size of the Katana Mark II head. I love the leather handle. I love the enclosure because the other Katana Air, I debated getting until I saw one in a shop and it was just, it looked cheap, plasticky, but I'm sure it worked well. In the box, it came with your, this is your transmitter that goes right in here to charge. I think when, you, when you're not using it, you pull it out, or when you are using it, you pull it out, you stick it in the guitar. I'll go through all that with the first demo video. Power cables, put in here, it's charging already, so that means that this must... It must have a battery in it. We'll go through that, all that some other time. What else we got here? The manual. Big old fat thick manual. And yeah, so that's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm going to try to hold on to this for the duration, which is about three months. I got to send it back after three months. So I'm going to get as much as I can out of it and show you what it can do in those short three months. So let's see what else I got going on here. I'm going to make some room. Next up, I got this big old box. And... It's a big old box, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit over here and then take the contents out and put it out here so you can see it. And I'm afraid I'm gonna fall in love with this one. We'll see. So Zounds, if you're not familiar with Zounds, they also have some really good payment plans where you can, uh, you can make payments over six to 18 months and sometimes with zero interest. And there ain't nothing better than zero interest because when you're buying an expensive piece of gear or even not expensive piece of gear, and it's like $300. By the time you end up paying for it, it's like $500. You could have bought something for $500 instead of $300. There's one more thing in here. And that's it. We got here, this is a Catalina bread pedal. Let's open it up, see which one it is. Oh, it's got some cool stickers. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use the stickers uh, because I'll be sending this back, like I said. I started out small one with my first request from them. I didn't want to get a little too ambitious. So this is the Catalina Bread Sabra Cadabra. It's supposed to give you a Tony Iommi type overdrive. And it works out well with what I got coming out of here. So obviously this is a Epiphone. I will be doing some Gibson reviews. I've never owned a Gibson. I've never reviewed a Gibson. So that's gonna be interesting. Now this Epiphone 
comes in a case. Comes in this nice hard shell case. So, which is top, which is bottom? This is the bottom. All right. One, two, three. Is there one in the back here? There is not. So what we got here? Oh, look at that. This is the Tony Iommi Epiphone SG Special with P90s. I'm gonna come around this side so we can get a better look at this thing. Oh, she is pretty. Nice finish. Of course, it's, it's a little more uh, expensive than your typical SG Pro or G400, so it, it feels that way. And it doesn't have that veneer like some of them have either. See back there? Maybe you can't really see it. Tony Ioma signature. I'll go more into detail when I do my demo and review. And it, sad thing is, the factory, I'm going to show you this when I do the review. Somebody used a hard screwdriver and marred up the, the post screws there. So very nice. So we're going to play some Black Sabbath with that Catalina bread pedal. So what else is, comes in here? Well, in the box you get a sticker. I won't be using it and a key and some other stuff so we'll go through all that when i do the big review so we'll see that is a nice hard shell case right there it's pretty that's the big news i mentioned uh, some big news coming so i got a partnership i can do more gear i can bring more reviews to you and i think it's going to be great for the channel and i'm not stopping at any of the other stuff i was doing like the katana uh, tones and if I do any new tones on the Katana Air EX, I will try to translate them over to the Mark II so you can try them out on that too. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning in the next couple weeks for the demo and review of all this gear and we'll see what else has come. If you have any gear requests that you'd like me to review, put them down in the comments down there. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.